Okay. Um, in the locate tab, you're going to look at your sample through the oculars to find the spot which you want to scan later on. And it's quite handy to have quick settings buttons uh, which allow you to switch between the channels uh, with just one click. And you can configure them here. So basically what you can do, you can set all the hardware um, the way you want it to look at your sample. And then you save this setting and then here you can configure these buttons as your favorites. So to do this you need to go to tools over here and then find settings editor. And here you go. You, now you need to set up all this crap exactly the way you want it for your favorite button. So for example if you want to look at your sample in the bread fiddle channel uh, you will need a lamp which is on include in this setting you can also mess up with intensity to set up uh, the way you like it uh, you want to make sure that the light from the lamp goes towards your sample so include in the setting okay and you want to make sure that the shutter for this light will be open include in the setting open shutter um, you don't want any light from the mercury lamp going into your bright fill channel. And for this you need to include in the setting a closed shutter for the mercury lamp. Eh eh, closed. And you can close another shutter if you want to make sure that it's really really closed. And then you don't need any filter cube for the bright field, so you just say none and here you make sure that all the lights from the lamp will make it through your sample through the objective through the no filter cube and towards oculars 100% vision okay apply to hardware and you can check in the oculars what it looks like all set now we can save this configuration as bright field you will most probably want more contrast in your sample and for this you can pick up here this filter cube this is analyzer for DIC and if you apply it to hardware and look in the oculars it looks much better so we can save this one as much better um, and you can do the same for fluorescent channels as well. So when you're using fluorescent channel, you don't want any transmitted light and you want a lot of light from the mercury lamp. And it's best to close the shutter here. And you don't care if the lamp is on or off uh, because the shutter is closed, so you just can exclude it from the setting and you want to make sure that the lamp will be on and you want to make sure that the shutters will be open both of them and that everything will go to the oculars and then you just pick the filter cube you are going to use for GFP you are going to use this filter cube mm -hmm. So you can save this configuration as um, GFP. For red floor force you need this one. 43 d thread. Mm -hmm. Very red. Save as RFP. And if you are looking at uh, Dapper Hooks, you are going to use this one. Apply to hardware. And save as Dabby. Okay, so you have all these configurations now stored somewhere on this computer. And now you can close this lovely thing and go to configure your buttons. You just click here and add as many buttons as you want. And here they appear. 
so what you need to do, you probably want to know who is whom. And then you just drag the hardware setting for this button. This will be the braid fill button. And you can also assign a color to it. It will be a white braid fill button. And here it is, already ready to use. This will be a much better button. Already known as, also known as DAC. Light gray, lovely. Um, this can be GFP. And RFP. Gosh, Ordnung takes time. And the last but not least is the Duppy configuration for my favorite Duppy button. Okay, here we go. Close the configuration and here are all the buttons and you can just switch between the channels with one single click. Et voilà.